What's going on, Night Nation? What's up, YouTube? What's going on to the people viewing this on Facebook, etc.? You know me, I'm a little dog. I'm up here in Canyonville, Oregon at uh, Seven Feathers Truck and Travel Center with the big old casino across the road. Uh, a few things I want to talk about first before we get to the whole point of this video is um, the Night Nation Council was in Phoenix at the corporate office uh, just the other day. And a lot of good things happened. We got to meet with Dave Jackson, we, uh, Steve Grover, um, Justin Taylor, a whole bunch of the, the guys that work up in the office up there. And, I mean, you couldn't be more happy with what happened there. You know, uh, we had a lot of different talks about a lot of different things. Most things we can't talk about, which kind of makes you guys probably a little frustrated. But in the, in the way of things, that's how it goes. So, um, but everything was awesome. We were well, rece well recepted. Uh, the barbecue that was down at the uh, terminal, I want to say thanks to everybody that helped put that together. Um, you know, thanks to uh, Travis and Steven, James Fisher. Uh, thanks to Jackie, Todd Anderson. Uh, everybody that had a hand in it, if I'm forgetting your name, I apologize. Uh, Chris Van Cleve. Um, there was a uh, Demetrius, thank you. Um, who else am I forgetting? There's a lot, I'm sure there's a couple more people that I'm forgetting, and I apologize. But thank you guys for making it a, a success and for having everything set up for us when we got back from the corporate office. I mean, and uh, a big thank you to everyone else that came out. And um, so let's get to the purpose of this video. Now, normally on YouTube, myself and Thor were telling you guys about how great uh, night is and uh, what we can do for you over here um, you know when it comes to if you're just coming in to, to the trucking industry if you've been around it for a while you know whether you're uh, a civilian or ex-military or whatever it is we're telling you how, how good everything is but sometimes you don't really see um, anybody follow up with it so along came a spider and down in Phoenix I ran into this lovely young gentleman Jason Riffle uh, and it just so happens that he has been tracking me like a Marine Corps sniper from Phoenix Arizona the whole way up to uh, our present position here in Canyonville we're both going up to Lacey Washington so I'm kind of going to turn the camera over to him and, and he's going to kind of tell you guys about his experience from the time he first heard about night until now that he's a, a solo driver um so uh here you go so there so here he is mr jason riffle also known as scrappy as he has been most recently knighted as by myself and thor can't really see my face too well but we're not here to talk to me right now so stealth missions hey what's going on youtube what's going on my uh Night minions. Anyways, I'm here to. <laughs> Night minions. Hey. So anyway, uh, A.K.A. S Scrappy here. Uh, night transportation. Let me uh, let me talk a little bit about, a little bit about that. So I worked for uh, McLean for about six months. That's where I got my first six months experience. I did a few things after I got out of the uh, the Marine Corps. Um, anyways. When I researched night transportation as a company, you know, what stuck out to me is fancy trucks, new equipment, you know, none of this uh, old school stuff that rolling down the uh, road, breaking down all the time. Night transportation takes care of their employees. They take care of their equipment and uh, they take care of their employees. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a company, if you didn't hear me, that takes care of their employees, I said it twice, that's my bad, but they really do. I mean, if you need to get home, Night transportation is all about communication. Am I right, little dog? Yes, sir. All about communication. If you need to get home, little ones at home at sick, your wife, you know, you got to take care of doctor's appointments, you name it. Night transportation will get you home from wherever you are across the United States. They might even fly you home. That's just the kind of company they are. It is a real tight-knit family company. Now, with that being said, when I was down in Phoenix, which I met uh, little dog here, the VP and uh, Thor, uh, who you'll find out later and uh, if you haven't watched other uh, videos of little dogs here uh, the president of night nation 
we have banded together and uh, they've created a uh, really tight knit group to handle things that uh, the company as a whole uh, might overlook. So we get driver's perspectives and uh, things just go up the chain of command a lot easier and a lot smoother with that. And uh, there's some really good stories I don't want to get into right now, but uh, you know, if you're a veteran, this job for me, I, I and uh, little dog here, he's a Navy veteran. I'm a Marine veteran. You know, we got lots of veterans in this company. And uh, my Jerry, who oh, yeah, my Jerry's a veteran. Uh, yeah, that uh, squid there, and uh, we got a couple squids. We got Marines. Uh, you know, it's just really tight knit, and uh, even even the guys that aren't veterans, we all just blend together. So about Night Nation, uh, you know, the camaraderie is right on par with the military. I've been there, Little Dog's been there, a lot of us veterans have been there. And I can tell you, without a doubt, Night Nation is the only company on the road that will give you that feeling of brotherhood and the feeling of belonging to a company. It is nice to get up every day when the sun rises, or if you're one of those night riders, to get up in the middle of the night and to enjoy getting up and working for a company whose logo means something around here. So listen guys, if you want a place to call home, you want to feel like you know everybody the minute you get here, then I think you know what to do. You need to go to drivenight.com, fill out the application, contact one of the recruiters or wait for one of them to contact you and uh, make things happen. Also, um, I got a few questions to answer, so I'm going to set the camera up over there and answer a couple email questions and uh, comments from YouTube. Um, so, hold on a second. All right, so we're going to answer a few questions. Uh, bear with me here. Um, some of these are kind of old because I've been slacking a little bit. I've been kind of busy with all the Night Nation stuff. So uh, I apologize if I haven't gotten back to you guys right away. <clears throat> uh, first question is, uh, what's the best place to stay in Phoenix uh, during Squire School? Um, it's between the Comfort Inn and the Best Western. Uh, I don't really know what it is per night there. And um, I don't know how the accommodations are. I've never stayed there, so... Uh, best bet would be to ask um, the recruiter where most people go. So uh, I hope that answers that. And then one of the age-old questions: uh, dry van or reefer? Which one and, or why, which one and why? Um, dry and reefer. Um, in my opinion, dry side. I'm on the dry side. Um, I don't like to sit at the dock for a long time. I like to drop and hook trailers and keep on moving or, you know, quick one or two hour unloads. Granted, the dry side, sometimes you do get stuck at grocery places, you know, for four or five hours, but it's really rare. Um, on the reefer side, you're always sitting there at the door. Their runs on the reefer side are normally longer. They're typically more miles but that doesn't mean they get more miles than the dry side because on the dry side they'll stack shorter loads on top of each other and all those loads combined will equal whatever the reefer guys are getting anyway so uh, that's that one okay this question is from joseph jackson he said i'm brand spanking new to trucking don't even know how to drive a manual um sad to say but that will change soon joe everyone starts somewhere um I want to start with night in May. Um, am I able to go right to reefer or do I have to start with dry van? Um, Joseph, you do not have to start with dry van. You can go straight to reefer or you can go straight to dry van, whatever you prefer. Just make sure um, you let the recruiter know when you talk to them because once you go to orientation, uh, they kind of set you on a path starting there based on um, what side you're going to join. And I hate saying what side you're going to join. So whether you're going to go dry or reefer, put it that way. So I had a few more questions, but I can't find them on here and I'm getting kind of tired. So I'll look at them and answer them later. But um, more information at 1428nation.com um, and check out Night Nation on Facebook. Uh, whether you're a night driver or not, it's not just for 
night drivers or night employees. Yes, it is a majority of us, but you get the idea. Um, the decals will be up, should be up this week on 1428 Nation uh, under the uh, Nation Gear tab. Uh, where you can also get um, shirts, sweatshirts, cell phone covers, all that kind of stuff with uh, the Night Nation logo on it. And if you have any ideas for uh, clothing or accessories or gear or anything like that or um, something that you want to see on there, let us know. Um, also, you can check there for mine and Thor's latest videos along with um, Ashley's latest videos for the uh, Wives of Our Nation's Truckers page. So make sure that you guys check that out on Facebook as well. And uh, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later. We all just create our own. <laughs> <laughs>